Intelligent Octopus Go secretly uses the price cap 10% increase as an excuse to raise its own prices. Be aware tariffs constantly change. Well, is the Octopus still a good deal? Are there better tariffs out there? What to look out for? This video investigates who is Octopus Energy? Do they offer a good deal to EV drivers? What are their current prices? Can you find a better tariff for EV home charging? I'm Dave, this is Dave Takes It On. Well, I launched a video on the 1st of October to discuss the impact that the 10% rise of the off-gem price cap for electricity would have on EV charging. There's a link to that uh, video down below. To prepare for that, I gathered all the prices for the major players on the 30th of September, pre-price cap increase, to use as a comparison. I also stated very firmly that the price cap applies to the standard variable tariff, so had no direct impact on other tariffs like fixed tariffs or EV tariffs. But how wrong was I? Well, no, not about the price cap applying only to standard variable tariffs, but about having no impact on EV tariffs. Octopus has taken the opportunity to increase prices quietly with no announcement. That's really sneaky. British Gas, Eon, EDF, they've not increased prices. Well, let's let this be a lesson to everyone. Always check your current tariff is actually on the rate that you thought you were on. Well, Octopus Energy is most often quoted as being the best deal on the market today, and it might well be. It is a UK-based energy supplier, and like most companies today, is actually owned by Octopus Group. It's a British asset management company. Christopher Hulat owns that and also is a co-founder of Octopus Energy. Major shareholders in Octopus Energy include Tokyo Gas, Origin, an Australian energy company, Generation, a sustainable energy investment manager, and CPP Investment Board, one of the largest global pension funds. Well, their mission statement says, we've got an important, urgent mission to bring affordable green energy to the world. Every person at Octopus is working relentlessly to make that happen fast. We make energy better for customers, build transformative technology, and empower people to make sustainable change for the future. End of quote. They have an absolutely vast array of tariffs to suit most energy users, but in line with their mission statement, they excel at catering to the green market, as EV drivers and those with home solar PV panels and home batteries. Many people do not realise that not everybody buys or drives an EV purely for the money saving. Oh, hang on. Is that a double negative? Does that mean they all do? Well, confused. Oh, by the way, did you know that you can have a double positive that means negative? Yeah, right. They operate two main tariffs for EV drivers. Intelligent Octopus Go for people with smart meters and the compatible car and compatible charger. It is quite an extensive list, but not total. For those not compatible, they offer Octopus Go, which offers five hours of cheap rate charging. There is a simple to use checker on the application page to see if your car and charger are compatible. But be aware that many EV and home chargers have built in apps or programs that control your charging sessions. You will almost certainly need to disable these to let Octopus take control. So before you go out and buy an all-singing, dancing EV charger which costs you more, check which utility company provides your electricity. You don't want to waste money buying a load of features that you will instantly have to switch off. Well, the operation of the charging session is really quite forward. The car should never charge to a higher state of charge than you set in the car. So that's your overriding figure. Octopus uses that as their maximum charge limit as well. When you plug in, your car will initially be begin to charge instantly, even if it's the middle of the day. But it quickly switches off and it then calculates your sessions for that particular day. 
I assume it looks at when electricity is cheapest and chooses those. But you also set a ready by time, so your car will always be charged before that time. I have occasionally required a charge that needs longer than the six hours it allocates, and on those occasions the car always charges fully, but I've never checked if the extra hours needed were at the peak or off peak. The current tariff for Intelligent Octopus Go is seven pence per kilowatt hour between midnight and 5.30 a.m. and is 26.48 pence per kilowatt hour at all other times. And the standing charge rate is 49.98 pence per day. For those who want to know, I did check the prices on the 30th of September for the previous video about the price cap increase coming in on October the 1st. The prices were 23.9 pence peak and the same 7p off peak and the same standing charge. So no different standing charge or the off peak, but quite a big jump of about 10% in the peak rate. They not only cater for EV drivers, they have different tariffs if you have solar PV. And here it can get quite confusing as you cannot use the EV tariff to get the best out of your PV panels. So a compromise needs to be made. And if you have an EV and PV and batteries, it can get even more confusing. Well, luckily they do have an easy to follow guide, which lists what you might have at home and then recommends what they believe is the best tariff for you. You need to check for yourself because they may not always be right. Well, for the average EV user, the Intelligent Go tariff is a great one, covers all your needs. Most people will not need more than about five and a half, six hours charging, at least not regularly. If you do, maybe you want to look at getting a beefier electricity supply. My Tesla wall charger can charge up to 45 miles an hour. So the six hours Octopus provides can give me 270 miles each night. Now, if you need more than that on a regular basis, I suggest you get in touch with ZPN Energy, who can offer you a 50 kilowatt DC charger for your home. It's the only company I know of that offers this. They provide a home battery up to about 150 kilowatt hours. That's massive, linked to a 50 kilowatt DC charger. So with 150 kilowatt hours on tap, you can not only charge your EV in under an hour and have plenty left, but you can also run the entire house, air conditioning and all. Well, as an Octopus user myself, I get regular notifications offering me free or really cheap electricity. And previously you needed to be on a special tariff to take advantage of these, which is not really compatible with Intelligent Go, which is what I wanted. But now they've launched OctoPlus. I really do love the naming, by the way. And this rewards you if you use less electricity at peak times and more electricity at off-peak rates. Oh, by the way, if everyone did this, maybe we wouldn't have peak times when the grid really struggles. Well, I have just signed up for this and will report back when something happens. To date, I instantly got 500 OctoPlus points that gives me discounts for cinemas, meals and coffee. With Octopus, you can also sign up for their Electroverse card. This is an RFID type charge card type scheme. It just allows you to use your Electroverse card for charging sessions. One card fits all. And on selected charges, you would automatically get discounts, which can typically run up to about 20%. And they are often linked to specific times of the day, like off peak between 7 and 11. It does simplify finding charges like Ionity, Osprey, Instavolt and Shell Recharge. And they now have a handy route planner. So just enter your EV make and model. And it is a good alternative to a better route planner or zap map. It does all they do, but you get discounts. And a really cool feature if you use Octopus at home, you can charge your charging sessions out on the road at public charges to your home energy bill. You get a full statement of session prices and total costs. This really does make EV charging very much simpler. With all chargers now equipped with contactless, this one card 
might be all you need. Octopus generally try to offer you a complete solution no matter which of their tariffs suit you best. And of course there is a reward scheme. If you're changing to Octopus then get a family member or friend who's with Octopus to recommend you and you get £100 shared between you, 50 quid each. If you don't know anyone who has an Octopus account, drop me a line on the email and I'll be your buddy and we'll share it. Oh, and don't forget, if you're considering your very first Tesla EV, then they also offer a referral scheme, which is just a bit more generous. Get a current Tesla owner to send you their referral link and you get a £1,000 off the purchase price of your car. And the owner who referred you gets £500 credited to their Tesla account. Once again, if you don't know anyone with a Tesla, drop me an email and I'll send you my referral link. Don't miss out on these freebies. £1,000 off the price or £100 back, they're well worth having. Well, Octopus Energy genuinely seems to be doing all they can to make charging your EV a more pleasurable experience and offers prices that overall seem to be cheaper than many others. There is no one tariff anywhere that suits everyone, so you do need to shop around. I've found prices down as low as 3.8 pence per kilowatt hour, and some offer longer off-peak hours, while others will give you some free charging on a Sunday. But Octopus, to me, seems to be the general all-rounder. If I had to complain, it would be that many of their offers are offered with little or no notice. I get many messages saying, oh, there's a special free offer. If you can plug in right now, you get your electricity totally free, so top your car up. It's such a shame to miss those, as I might be 100 miles away at the time, far from being able to plug in and use it. However, it is nice to get the offer. And if you get a message, plug in now, it's totally free, and you can, that is a really good offer. Oh, by the way, you might find that when you do plug in for free, it's not actually really free. If it's actually peak time, you'll be charged peak rates, but you immediately get a credit bringing you back down to free. Well, I switched over to Octopus about a year ago and found the switch to be really quick, amazingly quick and effortless. I clicked proceed one afternoon, got a transfer date a mere two days into the future. The switch did happen on that day, I then had a delay in getting the smart meter fully functional, but I was kept informed all the way and I was told it can take up to two weeks for the previous supplier to completely hand over. So even that delay was not the fault of Octopus. I found I made an immediate saving on what I had been paying of around about £50 a month. And I had thought I was on a pretty good deal. It really is worth checking around to make sure you are on the best deal. Well, the price rise was a bit naughty in my opinion, and most other utility companies have not increased their prices. Well, yet. It still leaves me happy with their tariff and service, and in reality I quite like to see all the offers, even if I can't use most of them. They seem to introduce new tariffs on a regular basis to meet any new current demand. Check out their PV and battery tariffs, Many others do not yet have specific tariffs for this growing market. Well, that's it for now. If you have enjoyed this video, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. It is totally free to subscribe, just requires a click of the mouse. And it is very important to a young channel like ours. If you'd like to do more for the channel, have a look at our Patreon membership where we offer special features like community meetups. We have a community chat line running all the time. We do uh, behind the scenes videos and occasional bloopers, amongst other things. Well, thanks very much for watching. I'm Dave.